to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much for your time for your love god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so friends in our today's video i'm going to be sharing with you a story time yes guys you all know that when i say story time it is enjoying laughing learning new things and for you guys who are on online dating apps <laughs> when i share such kind of stories you get inspired and you get a reason to keep moving you tell yourself if them why not me so that is why i'm always here to share with you these love stories of people who have met on online dating apps so our today's story is going to be about a kenyan lady single mom of two who was working as a maid in saudi arabia and found love on online dating apps and this lady is very very lucky why am i saying she's very lucky we will go there very soon i'm also going to be sharing with you the app they met on <laughs> so guys you who have been telling me i am on online dating apps i am a single mom but i don't know if i'll be able to find a man to love me this lady was a single mom of two but she found love <laughs> oh some of you have been saying i am a maid i don't know if men will love me because i'm working as a maid maybe because of my job i won't be able to find love on online dating apps guys this lady was a maid <laughs> but she found love and guys when it's god's time not anything no one is going to stop that believe in yourself keep searching these things are very possible it is going to be impossible if you give up on it i'm going to be repeating this the whole video so that you can really understand and get that energy to keep on moving <laughs> And before I start telling you our today's story, do you remember this story here of the girl who had a dream of getting married to a white man and she did not know how? Eventually, she came to find out about online dating. She joined, faced a lot of challenges, and eventually she found an Italian guy. They were supposed to get married last year, but it did not happen because the embassy was not issuing the visa due to covid yes so she waited and thank god guys this year april she was able to get the visa and i was so happy for her <laughs> she's here in italy right now as i am talking with her fiance i'm going to be sharing their photo together here <laughs> yeah soon she'll be going back to tanzania because they're going to be having their wedding in tanzania <laughs> no longer in italy and the reason why i'm sharing this story it's because she has promised me that she's going to share with us or with you guys her wedding her wedding ceremony here in our channel so guys you should be here don't go anywhere when they do their wedding i'm going to be sharing that wedding here also something very funny when she got the visa i was like i want you to bring me all the things that i've missed <laughs> <laughs> in tanzania so i started giving her the order i want rice i want the spices i want this <laughs> but you just carry them in small quantity i don't want you to have a lot of luggage <laughs> just because of my things so she brought me rice she brought me some spices she brought me ubuyu guys do you know ubuyu <laughs> ubuyu are the seeds of the baobao tree yes i have them here with me <laughs> these are ubu you guys <laughs> so these are the seeds of the bubble tree but the original one <laughs> don't have color this color is added they added color and some sugar <laughs> yes <laughs> very yummy guys very very yummy but i don't want my tongue to look red while i'm talking to you i'm going to be having this ubuyu later after the video <laughs> 
so guys you can see online dating works <laughs> i'm not here to give you false hopes or to just make stories to give you hopes no 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 i'm not going to do that so dear friends back to our today's story our today's story is about a kenyan lady by the name of susan 33 years of age a single mom of two so when i was talking to susan i asked her that how about your past i would like to know about your past relationship she told me bella i don't have anything good to tell you about my past because i suffered a lot in that relationship and even when i got out of it when i could walk in the streets men could look at me but i didn't have the courage to look at them back i lost my self-esteem men can really destroy women that is why I've been telling you guys, if you are in a toxic relationship, it's better to get out of it before it destroys you. So with Susan, her past relationship destroyed her a lot. So guys, that's it about Susan's past relationship. And I know now you're asking yourself, or oh, you want to know, <laughs> why did Susan go to Saudi Arabia to work as a maid? <laughs> Provided that there is a lot of stories going on about ladies that are working in Saudi Arabia suffering a lot being mistreated Why did Susan choose to go to Saudi Arabia to work as a maid? Is it because she didn't have any education? Is it because of her kids? Did someone force her to go? Why did she decide to go to Saudi Arabia? So Susan told me that Bella, I am well educated. Actually, I have a degree in human resource. But as you know, in our African countries, no jobs. You can be very well educated, but still not find a job. So that is what happened to Susan. And as a single mom, you have to take care of your kids. You have to make sure that your kids go to good school. All that guys needs money and that's why Susan decided to take a chance and go work in Saudi Arabia as a maid so dear friends as Susan arrived in Saudi Arabia she worked there for one year and after a year she felt a lot of loneliness because no friends no places to go and have fun distract yourself like in Kenya so she used to spend most of her free time on social media and one day she was on facebook and she saw these success stories of people who have met on online dating apps those stories inspired her so much pushed her to join online dating apps and try her luck and that is where our story starts so guys do you remember when i started this story i told you something like being lucky that this lady is very very lucky so when she joined online dating apps after three weeks she got a message from a guy from norway 43 years of age they started chatting getting to know each other and this guy asked susan that please tell me the truth about you about your life i want to know so susan was very honest with him he told him everything that i am working as a maid here in saudi arabia i've been here for a year and i have two kids back home they stay with my mom they stay with my mom <laughs> english guys <laughs> okay let's continue <laughs> so guys i was saying that susan told this norwegian guy that i have two kids they are back home with my mom in kenya and i'm here working as a maid in saudi arabia so this guy asked susan a question that what would you like to change in your life if you're given a chance to change something in life what would you like to change so susan answered and she told the guy that i would like my kids to have a very good life i would like my kids to study in a good school guys you know back home in africa especially i'm going to talk of east africa because <laughs> i know there are some african countries where education is free but in kenya tanzania if you talk of uganda you have to pay school fees so susan's dream was to take her kids in good schools the kids to live good and i can understand guys 
when you are a mom your kids matters a lot your kids comes first in everything <laughs> when you get some money you want your kids to be happy so guys when susan answered this norwegian guy of what she would like to change in her life then this guy was like send me your account details i would like to help you <laughs> when susan read the message she was like scammer i got you she blocked the guy <laughs> <laughs> she blocked the guy kept on searching for another guy because she really believed that the guy was a scammer so past two weeks when she blocked this guy and one day she saw that this guy had viewed her profile and she was like hmm, what happened i blocked this guy how comes he has viewed my profile she went to check very well and found out that the guy was still blocked so she was like what's the meaning she unblocked the guy and when she unblocked the guy the guy sent her a message so after unblocking this guy this guy sent a message to susan telling her that susan i would like to know you more please give me a chance and from there susan replied and was like okay let's get to know each other very well and let's exchange whatsapp number it's susan that asked for whatsapp number so that they can continue chatting on whatsapp another red flag the guy was like i don't have whatsapp number can we chat on skype <laughs> Susan was like, this guy is fake, 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 fake. This is a red flag. <laughs> Why don't you have a WhatsApp number? <laughs> like I've been telling you guys, if a guy doesn't want to communicate on a normal communication like WhatsApp, telling you let's use Skype, let's use that, there is a red flag there. He might be hiding something. But this time, guys, we have a special case. Why am I saying it's a special case? Let's keep on listening to the story. <laughs> so guys, when Vincent, his name is Vincent, because I'm saying an Norwegian guy, an Norwegian guy, his name is Vincent. So when Vincent told Susan that I don't have a WhatsApp number, <laughs> Susan was like, listen to me very careful. I'm not stupid. It's either you come here with a WhatsApp number or forget about me. Guys, I've been telling you to be determined. I've been telling you to stand for what you believe in when you are on online dating apps. And Susan is an example. She was not scared to lose this guy because if it was someone else, like the ladies that I know who don't have enough experience on these things of dating apps, she could have accepted to use Skype or to use any other means of communication apart from WhatsApp because she could be scared to lose the guy. <laughs> I found a white man, I don't want to lose him. No guys, stand for what you believe in. So Susan told the guy, you come here with a WhatsApp number or just forget about me and let's end this. <laughs> so guys, Vincent disappeared for a week and after one week, he returned with a WhatsApp number. Exchanged WhatsApp number with Susan. <laughs> He told Susan that the phone that I had was not supporting WhatsApp, so I had to buy another phone so that I can have WhatsApp and communicate to you. And funny enough, guys, Vincent did not know how to use WhatsApp. <laughs> if it was me, it was very, very hard to believe this guy that he doesn't know how to use WhatsApp. But Susan came to find out that this guy did not know how to use WhatsApp because sometimes Susan could write messages and, you know, delete them. You know, when you delete for all, <laughs> the message disappears. So this guy could complain like, I saw a message and it has disappeared. Maybe it's a problem with my phone. <laughs> Whereby it shows that the message is deleted. <laughs> but this guy did not have any idea of why he couldn't get that message, that WhatsApp message. And Susan told me that I started liking him because of that ignorancy thing, you know? <laughs> In Africa, we could say that this guy is a village man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> villagers a village man who is a bit ignorant but susan told us she really liked that villageness or that ignorance in him <laughs> 
and i think susan is not one of those ladies that likes men who are much no i know everything <laughs> yeah so guys they continued knowing each other better day by day the guy was very open he could show everything to susan and he could make time for susan no matter how busy he was but he could make sure that he communicates to susan because he was interested in susan <laughs> if a guy is really interested in you no matter how busy he is he's going to find that time for you but a guy that you exchange phone numbers and then he starts telling you i am very busy i can't call i am very busy that's why i did not send you messages don't believe him because if a guy is interested he is going to make that time for you so vincent could call susan talk to her and susan was very lucky that the house she was working in the boss was very good she was given time to communicate not those houses that you go and they restrict you from communicating so susan continued chatting with this guy she told me that or she tells us that this guy could show his house could show his yard he has got a lot of cars actually guys he is a rich guy that is why i've told you susan is a lucky lady <laughs> so they continue chatting guys and again vincent asked susan her bank account details he told susan i want to help you i want to help your kids you told me that you would love your kids to study in a good school have good life i want to support you send me your bank account details <laughs> <laughs> again susan was like no 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 this guy is a scammer you are a scammer and then susan told him that i don't have a bank account because where i am working i'm not using any bank account when they pay my salary they pay in cash and i just keep it at home till when i return back to kenya so no bank account maybe you can use western union vincent told susan that no i don't want to send money through western union because it's a lot of money first of all so do whatever you can to get a bank account so that i can send you that money in a bank account so susan had to talk to her mom back in kenya to open up a bank account that doesn't have any money <laughs> you know guys because you can't just give someone that you don't know you have your bank details your account that has got money or your account that you're going to be using what if he starts stealing from you <laughs> so, so susan's mom opened up a bank account in kenya and sent the account details to vincent and do you know what happened guys the guy sent eight thousand dollars in kenya it is 1.7 million yes something like that because she told me it is 1.7 million i had to convert it in dollars and it gave me eight thousand dollars so this guy sent that amount to the account that susan's mom opened <laughs> susan tells me i could not believe it when my mom got that money i was like oh my god so it is true <laughs> yes guys even me recently there is another lady it is a story that is coming that was chatting with a guy and everything is going very very well actually is a good guy because she sent me all of their messages <laughs> so that i can see if there is any red flag but the guy is really good and last week she called me she was like the guy has sent me money i did not ask for money but the guy has sent me money and it's a lot of money guys like five thousand dollars yeah but this lady is a tanzanian so when she was telling me i remembered susan's story i was like wow <laughs> these ladies are really really lucky so susan was very happy and used that money for her kids including changing the school of where the kids were studying so guys they continued chatting for more four months and this time vincent was ready 
to propose he proposed on the phone that i would like to marry you <laughs> but there are some plans that we have to make so susan said yes she was very happy over the moon and she told me she said yes because she was in love already with this guy though they have not met yet you know guys when you're a single mom and a guy loves your kid cares so much about your kid there is no way you are not going to love that man <laughs> no way <laughs> yes so susan was in love <laughs> she accepted so vision told her that there's some plans we need to make i would like you to go back in kenya i'm going to send you money for your trip and this time it is going to be through western union so that you can go back and then i come to visit you see you see your kids see your parents then invite you in my country if you like it there we get married susan was very very happy guys so so happy so guys vicent sent her money through western union she was able to get that money organize her trip to kenya what do we learn from this especially you ladies who are on online dating apps you have been getting men you chat with a guy everything is good then he tells you if you want to come visit me you will have to pay your own ticket this guy does not want to spend a coin on you that means the guy is not serious if a guy is serious with you paying for your ticket to go visit him won't be a problem so don't be deceived guys and guys to add on that about the guy spending on you susan told me that as they were chatting as they were getting to know each other like susan did a test to this guy to see how much this guy is interested how far can this guy go so susan told vicent that if you want to marry me it means that you're going to pay my bride price and the bride price of my two kids because <laughs> the guy was ready to adapt these kids <laughs> when they get married <laughs> and you want to know what was vicent's response <laughs> vicent was like there is no problem i'm going to pay for all <laughs> don't worry at all so the guy was really into susan <laughs> yes and february this year guys susan left her job as a maid returned back to kenya and after two weeks Vincent was in Kenya with his parents, mother and father accompanied him to go see Susan's parents. <laughs> so they did an introduction and an engagement like formally in front of their parents, which is very, very good guys. So guys, Vincent stayed three weeks in Kenya with his parents and they had good, good time, then returned back to Norway. As we are talking right now, Susan is waiting for her engagement visa to go visit Vincent, get married there, and then after the wedding, they are going to take the kids to live with them. Another question comes, I know you're asking yourself, in this whole story, we have not had any challenge that Susan came across. I've told you guys, this lady is a lucky one because after three weeks, she found love. <laughs> that is why I've been telling you, there is no time for you to find love on online dating apps. We don't have that fixed time that when you join, you stay one week or two weeks or three weeks or after a year, you are going to find the one. It is the matter of luck. It is the matter of praying to God. It is the matter of being determined. It is the matter of understanding what you want. One of the challenges that Susan came across is that when she was chatting with Vincent, there is a time Vincent disappeared for three weeks. She told me, Bella, I could not sleep. I could not eat because I was in love already with this guy. But afterwards, he returned he told me that his mother got covid that is why he was away but from that time he did not disappear again <laughs> so if something like this happens to you with the guy you're chatting to make sure it does not happen again he does not disappear again because most players they will chat with you today disappear for a week return after two weeks disappear again yeah <laughs> so to differentiate that if a guy disappears once and continues chatting with you, not disappearing again, 
he is real but this one disappears and then keep on disappearing you know he is a player that is what we learn from this story guys because every story we have got something to learn and guys i know you're asking yourself now what kind of a dating app did susan meet vincent the dating app is called international cupid i've shared this dating app in one of my videos where i shared international dating app or dating sites if you have not watched that video you can go and watch it but that is the dating app that they met on so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video i really thank you so much for your time for your support god bless you so much and i love you so much you're always here in my heart please give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video comment below what you think about this video i would like to know if you've loved this story tell me please <laughs> subscribe if you have not subscribed watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot of things from those videos until next time ciao ciao Mwah.